so today is Thursday. I am they cancel my 10 o'clock appointment. I have an appointment at one. So I need to go to Office Depot, Target, Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm trying to figure out a new cheaper, more healthy Starbucks drink that's not that's coffee. Because I got I got a cold drink I can drink, but um I need a hot drink. Um, I was actually gonna get coffee today, but now it's gonna eliminate kind So anyway. Um got up this morning at like 6.30 something like that. So, I don't know, I think I told y'all, but Kegos lost his collar that has the bell on it. I know I said it on his channel, but I don't know if I said it on this one. And, I've been looking for it since Wednesday. So, this morning, I'm sitting in the bed and I hear some jing 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 jing. And I said, Kegos, he found his own bell, y'all. Like, he just had it in his mouth and he brought it in my room. And I put it back on him. I was so happy. Because it's like, I, don't, I never know what he's at. So I wake up and I just like, Kekos. And so I have to just wait for him to come instead of knowing where he at. Or at least knowing he happy where he at. Because <laughs> normally I do that just to make sure he alright. Just call him. And so if I hear his little bell shake, I be like, okay, he's fine. But if he, like, if he be quiet too long or I think he's asleep, I don't call him. Been trying to learn. I just gotta check on. <clears throat> What's about to say? So yeah, I need a hot drink. I like. I don't think I get at Starbucks. That's a hot drink. It's toasted white chocolate mocha, white chocolate mocha, and by hot drink I don't mean an actual hot drink. I mean an iced coffee. <laughs> uh, I only drink hot coffee. Oh my gosh! I think somebody killed that people put me. Ran it over. Um. The only time I drink hot, hot um, Starbucks is if it's like, look, I don't like, it's no way. Um, or they give it to me on accident and I decide not to be a little old and make them put ice in it. Um, yeah, so. And then I like the nitro lids. That's what the lady told me they call them, nitro lids. And they never give them to me, which makes me so mad because I love them so much. But the girl told me I could just ask for them at the window. I was talking to some girl on Facebook. Somebody had asked like for suggestions for Starbucks drinks or whatever. And somehow I got all up in their feed and like everybody started responding back to me. So, um, a lot of stuff that people say they drink Definitely does not have enough sugar for me to drink it. So, like, I tried the Irish cream um, cold brew. It was good for the, for the part that had the sweet cream. So, it's like, this much sweet cream. I needed, like, half sweet cream, half cold brew, and I needed it mixed together. And I need something else. trucks on the road look like they're paving the road and i don't know what the hell they're doing excuse my language but i'm gonna pass all y'all because i had time um uh, yeah so it's all good because i ain't waiting on them um that's what happens in on country roads just do what you do and keep it moving um my grandma gave me oh, i gotta go to office depot I'm going to keep just talking about Starbucks. Um, I got to go to Office Depot. I bought the wrong ink. <clears throat> bought the wrong ink. I need to see if they're going to let me exchange it for the right ink. Or if I just have to buy another ink. Um, my grandma gave me a bag and asked me to go to Roses for her. So it's her or something. I don't need to go to that store because I will buy something. I'm going to try so hard not to. Um, so I need to do exchange for her. I have to go to CVS to do my the rest of my couponing for the week. And then I have to help my friend do her couponing. I need to get chicken, rice, and broccoli from all these old Walmart. And I need to get our milk. And let's do this. I think I don't own it today. I actually took out the trash this morning while I live. Which 
never happens. So my grandpa was normally up at like this time and he takes me to the garbage already to grow. And normally I would be at work as well, so it's, it's a whole other issue. But um let's see. I'm trying to think what else I need to do. Have a live episode looking at paint. So hopefully just go back there, look at the paint. I ain't got what I want to go back. I think I need I need to get a canvas pad though, because I bought those canvas boards from um Walmart. Since I used all three of those already, now I need something else to pay on. I don't have anything that's blank. So I still have to work on that one, but I have nothing if I want to just start fresh. So and my goal is to pay at least twice a week. So paint or draw twice a week. I have I just thought about that. Those are some strong freaking antibiotics. They stink so bad. And I have to take them. Y'all know I just got off antibiotics. I don't know if y'all know that. I just took 14 days of antibiotics anyway. Something else. But these are 10 days. Yeah, 10 days of antibiotics. And this one is, should they wrote on the label, like take two pills a day. And then they got on that take with provided. And the last time I was looking for yogurt to eat with my probiotic, I mean eat with my um, while I was on the antibiotics. And this is all that I need to get from them. So they have something so I'm gonna get one free at CVS and it's eight dollars or something. I think I'm gonna get those. Hopefully they have them in the store because I could order online, but it's like one to three days shit. I get an extra, excuse me, 20% off because I can't pay as much. So, whatever else I have to do, I'll update y'all. When I order, I thought I ordered my food at Park uh, and Tarjay's Park Online, I will have a written out list of what I want to do and what I want to do again. So, I'll be more put together. And I'm supposed to drive like 50 miles faster.
So I decided I was gonna start out with the iced coffee with milk. It already comes with four pumps of classic syrup. I had to look up what that was because <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Um, basically, it's just, I guess, liquid sugar. I thought I looked it up. So, since they already started with four, and Starbucks stuff is usually not sweet, unless you, like, really add stuff to it, I just left it like that. And then I added one pump of toasted white chocolate mocha, and I added toffee nut. So like uh, my white chocolate most of mocha with toffee nut now. And um, what was I gonna say? I when I hit add toffee nut, it automatically put in four pumps. So I just left it right there. But we, when I did the white chocolate mocha, it asked me how many I wanted. So it started at one. So I just left it at one. I want to try to keep it as low as possible and then I did heavy cream instead of whole I was gonna do whole milk because I know I need at least for it to feel like it's sugary even though it's not so I'm gonna try the heavy cream if I don't like that I'm gonna do the whole if I don't like that I'm just gonna have to redo it everything probably because that's like the basis of the drink so but it came out to be 468 for a grande not too bad that's because I have all the add-ons, but it was really pretty cheap. It started off at like $2, so $2.50, something like that. I normally pay like $6.50 for my drink. Well, something like that. I don't know. When they, most times, a lot of times they don't charge me for all the stuff I add in there. But sometimes they do. So when they do, it's more closer to $7. When they don't, it's closer to like $6.20. We'll see, I'm on my way to Starbucks now. I'm less than a mile away. And this is, this is I, I ended up going to the slow Starbucks because I didn't have my mind together. And I ordered it while I was in McDonald's parking lot. <laughs> well, Mark and McDonald's drive through. I should've got a, uh, orange juice. I feel like we don't want orange juice now. Cause somebody behind me ordered freaking orange juice. I, I need to make a grocery list too. The orange juice I got. Hot. It's only 60 something degrees. I can't even see because I have my lights on. And um, I'm running this. Sorry. We should have stopped the front. Yes. Yes, me saying they slow. It's already one, two, three, four, five, six cars in front of me, and I just pulled up. So I'm basically about to get my breakfast together my pancakes and stuff because I already put my order in. That's the bad thing about putting your order in early. If you get there and it's super busy, you have no choice but to wait in the stupid line. Well, I could go inside and pick it up. Yeah, I can do that. I'm going to do that because it's probably going to be ready because I already ordered it. I'm just going to pick it up. And I'm just going to leave the car ready because I can see from the door. I used to do that all the time when I stopped. Go inside and get it out the thing. Great call going inside because it was already ready and it was literally <laughs> the only one sitting up there. So, uh, yeah, so it says Grande iced coffee with milk, toffee nut syrup, one pump of toasted white chocolate sauce, heavy cream light ice. It's well, I see it backwards. I don't know if y'all see it backwards. Y'all can tell me if y'all see it backwards. But I told y'all like three times, so it should be good. It's like overflowing, so that's normal for how many pumps of crap I get. Pretty good. You need some sugar, but it's not to the point where I need to add sugar. Like, I can drink it like this. So supposedly when you do the iced coffee with milk, it's only 100 calories for a grande. So, and then you go add up these calories and see how I'm doing. Cause I usually get a venti, white chocolate, toasted white chocolate mocha with cinnamon doce, caramel, uh, whole milk, a whole bunch of other crap. So it's basically like almost 700 calories. <laughs> So when I get up, if I come to Starbucks, I don't eat that meal. 
because yeah. I'm glad I got any napkins. So I probably need to do one less. No, I, I, I could deal with like one more toffee nut. I can't even taste the white chocolate on it, right? I guess I can. Yeah, it's pretty good though. I'm impressed with myself. So I am one of those people <laughs> that has to cut up all their pancakes and everything else and mix it together before I eat. Um, they close in our market and I've never been in there but my mama loves that store and I forgot to tell her. Um, but I am going to this Dollar Tree because it's like brand new and this is the bougie side of town. So I'm very interested to see what's inside this Dollar Tree. I probably should go there first actually before I go to Target so I won't buy anything in Target. That would be a smart thing to do. And where market is right beside it, and it's going out of business, so it probably cheap stuff in there. So, yeah, I'll probably change that player. But right now I'm parking Target, but it's like right here beside this. So, y'all, I think for all the sweet stuff I like to eat. I think pancakes are like super, super too sweet. So I eat pancakes probably like once a year. Like, I can't even remember the last time I ate a McDonald's pancake. But I love like these patty sausages because they're like cafeteria sausages from high school. So good. But I'm not just gonna let y'all watch me eat, so. Bye. So, double fail. So I came over here to go. <laughs> go to Dollar Tree first I literally like was watching the video so I looked up and saw that it was like this fat guy sitting in the window on a computer basically so they um yeah they're not even open yet there's no products in the store and then I saw this girl walking to World Market so I was like okay I just want to go to World Market first I mean just go there and then go back to Target and she walks up and comes back and she was like, they don't open till 10. So I'm going to Target because still you know, I ain't got time for that. I'm not about to sit in the car for 15 minutes that I just ate for like 10 minutes. I'm just gonna take my tail to walk, Target. Because of course, I'm sure World Market is more expensive. It's, why is it not stop sign right now? World Market is more expensive than Target. And in Target, it's only less expensive because I only shop clearance, so. And I just passed a really good parking space, but it doesn't matter because I would rather be able to pull out when I leave. So, I wanna take my Starbucks, but sometimes they have like that little thing that holds your cup on the cart and sometimes they don't, which is kinda annoying. It's annoying when you don't have something to drink and then it's annoying when it's not there, so. I'm gonna bring it. <laughs> Be difficult. And what's really throwing me off my target today is this school bus. I don't understand why the school buses are here. Like, are they bringing busloads of kids to Target? Like, I don't understand. Like, another one just pulled up, and it's one parked in front line. And it was one parked here when I pulled up. Like. It's not summertime, so it's not like a summer camp and they like come to Target to get stuff for staying at a place. It's literally kids getting off this bus. Like, what are y'all doing? It's just like the weirdest thing ever. So weirdest thing ever. I asked one of the kids, like, why y'all getting dropped off at Target? And she was like, it's a field trip. And I'm like, what? Who takes kids for field trips to Target? So I got one of these, they're $7, but they have like no nothing on the bottom. I don't like strap around the ankle, so I would only like them to like long things. What is the word? Okay, so I saw this other lady that was in here shopping, and she agreed that it was weird as heck. That 
it's kids in here, so I'm glad I'm not the only one. 